Hi, I'm Bernie Mitchell, president of Silver Platter Productions and Panasonic's AVC Cam Evangelist. In this video, we're going to talk about the capability of shooting variable frame rates in the new AC160 camera. What's really cool is we can do this in 1080p, all the way from two frames up to 60 frames. Now, let's talk about some of the applications that you might have for this. It does give you the ability to overcrank or undercrank right in the camera, to be able to shoot slow motion or fast motion effects right in the camera. You don't have to worry about doing this later in post, and it gives you very, very stunning results. All the way down to recording two frames per second. If you go down to two frames per second, now you're really starting to do things that look like time lapse. You get moving traffic, you get clouds flying across the sky, you know the shots. And it's very, very easy to do just by going into the camera and setting the variable frame rate that you want. Now, one caveat that I would give you on this, please remember that when you are in the variable frame rate mode, you are not recording audio. Here's how you set the AC160 into variable frame rate. Push the menu button, scroll down to recording format, select pH mode for the highest quality, 1080-24p. Then scroll the scene file, scroll down to the VFR mode and turn it on. On the left side of the camera you'll notice there's a button called dial select. When you push that in it will allow you then to use the dial in front which is shutter or frame rate and rotate that to select the, the frame rate you want anywhere from 2 to 60 frames per second. Now one thing to note when you go into variable frame rate, you'll see a red slash at the bottom left-hand side of the viewfinder. This tells you you are not recording audio. Be forewarned, you will still hear the audio if you are monitoring it, and you'll still see it in the viewfinder. But the red slash reminds you that you are, in fact, not recording audio when you are in variable frame rate. When you have finished recording, push the shutter frame rate knob in again to turn variable frame rate off, or go up to the menu to turn variable frame rate off. When you do that, the red line will go away in the viewfinder, and once again, you'll be recording audio on any future clips that you're recording. 